Welcome to another edition of Author EJ Me Watches, a somewhat weekly show where I react to television shows and or movies and hopefully entertain y'all. For this week, we are going to be watching a movie. I figured I would try and do, we're going to try and do it where I can do a movie reaction once a month. So in addition to our regular scheduled program where I'm reacting to, um, Supernatural, Outlander, Lost, and my Turkish drama Hershey's Chocolate Kisses. That is not the name of the show. I cannot pronounce the name of the show because I'm an ignorant Canadian girl, but it's H-E-R-C-A-I. So in addition to those reactions, uh, I figure we'd throw in at least a movie reaction a month. And I think I'm going to be doing something on Patreon where in, uh, for one of the, uh, support tiers, if you like, um, you get to pick a movie for me to react to. Uh, now granted, if it is a movie that I have already seen that you suggest, then I will give you a uh, chance to pick another movie. Now, so that's sort of a thing that we're going to be doing, I think would be fun on uh, Patreon. So if you want to support me over there at patreon.com slash author EJ me watches, that would be awesome. But, and that is where you'll be able to watch this full unedited movie reaction. If you would, and that's totally fine. If you would like to stick to watching it on YouTube, by all means, head over to my YouTube reaction channel and you can watch the heavily edited, uh, version of any of my reactions, including the movie we are watching today. Um, and make sure that you're subscribed to my regular YouTube channel, youtube.com slash author ejamie, where you will get this preview clip with the links to where you can watch the YouTube heavily edited version and the Patreon version. The YouTube heavily edited version, you'll get the video link to watch because I don't have enough subscribers there yet. Uh, we're growing slowly, we're getting a few, uh, but we're not there yet where it can have its own URL, so you will get the link directly to the video in the description for this preview clip here when it's uh, edited and ready to go up. Um, but usually first, my reactions go up onto Patreon for uh, people who are supporting me there, so they you always get the early rea early access stuff there. Mostly because I'm a lazy butt, and it's a lot easier to have the unedited, <laughs> to not have to take the time to edit, and just slap it up on Patreon. That's really the main reason <laughs> that you can get the Patreon stuff uh, early. It's because it's faster. So, there's that. Um, but if you're perfectly fine, if you want to wait, for the heavily edited uh, version on my uh, YouTube channel, and when that's ready to go up, I will slip it in here in the description for this uh, preview clip. So, what movie are we watching today? We are watching The Cure, 1995, uh, and it stars the um, late Brad Renfro, R.I.P., I love this boy when I was younger. I uh, had such a crush on him, and um, he unfortunately uh, passed away. Um, ten, ten years ago, maybe? He passed away a while ago. Um, and so it stars Brad Renfro and Joseph Mazzello, who um, I've seen in a few things. Uh, Brad Renfro I've seen in many, many things, like right from his first movie, The Client, to one of my favorite movies of all time, Sleepers. Um, and he did, uh, was it called, was it called Huck Finn? Or was it called Tom Sawyer? I don't remember. But I remember he played Huck Finn. <laughs> And uh, with uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Um, and 
He was in Bad Run was also in Deuces Wild, which I recently rewatched and such a good movie. Um, and just, he was in a lot. And Joseph Mazzello, I've seen in things here and there, um, but I haven't followed his career um, as much. But yeah, so The Cure, I, should I tell you what it's about? Or should we just get in and watch it together? I will say, The Cure came out in 1995. I, I, I've seen this movie. However, I've seen it so long ago that I don't remember a lot. There are two key scenes that I remember in this movie and then nothing else. I remember nothing else from this movie. It's been that long since I've seen it. I do remember it made me cry. This is a very sad movie. So, we prepared. It's Kleenex gonna cover my face, but that's fine. <laughs> we are prepared. Um, and it also stars, I'm gonna butcher her name and I'm so sorry, Annabella Schi Schiora? 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 And I remember she's been in a lot of things too. And Diana, or Diane? Diane, Diana Scarwood. And I remember, see, okay, Lost fans, if you watch the show Lost, uh, in season three, three, when uh, Jack and Juliet, when they're on, when they're in like the, with the little village with the others, and um, Juliet tries to convince Jack to kill Ben, and then um, there's that whole like Juliet is uh, sort of brought up on charges with the committee of like the others and there's that woman with like the blonde hair uh yeah that woman with the blonde hair here she plays uh brad renfro's bitchy mother and i remember when i saw her in lost i was like oh my god that's brad renfro's bitchy mother in the cure and those of you who uh have seen lost first and I've never watched this movie, when you see her, you're going to be like, oh, that's that woman from Lost, from the trial, from Juliet's trial. So that's where you're going to remember her from. I remembered her from this movie because this movie came out in 1995. So I had seen this one first. So, um, yeah, I guess let's just get into it. Uh, again, for the most part, um, I don't remember a lot in this movie, so I that's why I thought it would still make a good uh, reaction film. This is sort of a little bit of a rewatch for me, but it's, yeah, I, I don't remember a lot except for like two key scenes that I will point out when, um, two or three key scenes that I will point out when we get to them. Um, so yeah, if you're going to like support me on Patreon, and if you want to recommend a movie, uh, by all means, go and like recommend a movie that you would like me to react to. And if it's a movie that I've seen and that I remember, I probably won't do a reaction to it, and you can name another one. But if it's a movie that perhaps I've seen, but it's been so long that it would still, it would be like watching it with fresh eyes, I'd be willing to do that. So... By all means, head over to Patreon and um, uh, support me anyway. If you'd like to recommend a movie, that'd be great. Um, if you'd like to just support me to get the full early access, unedited versions to all the things that I'm watching, like movies, uh, Supernatural season 12 we're watching, Outlander season 6 we're watching, Lost season 4 we're watching, and my Turkish dramas. So, yeah, let's just get into... The Cure, 1995, Brad Renfo, Joseph Mazzello, Mazzello, here we go. One of my favorite movies 
of all time. And just the still like AIDS is still a thing. And now, you know, thank goodness we're almost tw this, this 1995, we're almost 20 years on, and AIDS was, I guess, first started like in the 80s, but just for the base, for the reference point, like of this movie, we're 20 something years on, and thankfully there's medication and stuff where it's not the death sentence that it was. And I just, I cannot even imagine, like I said, I don't have children. But just thinking of like, either like my nieces or my nephews, or just anybody that I love having to have dealt with that back then, I could not even fathom. And I mentioned if you were a fan of General Hospital in the 90s, where I think that was, that was a lot of like when sort of the AIDS was really sort of hitting mainstream media. I mean, it like I said, it had begun like in the 80s, but I think there was a lot more of a focus on it and more of like tackling the ignorance surrounding it because, yes, Brett, the character who played Brad Renfro's mother Yes, she was a bitch before, like, not even, not even surrounding, like, the AIDS, in, in the context of AIDS. Even, like, with taking that out of the equation, she was a bitch. She was a horrible mother, no doubt about it. But, I think, for when AIDS f first started, and for those first, like, ten years, it was a lot about the fear of it, and, like, the unknown of it. And I think... The 90s were more about tackling that ignorance, that ignorance based on that fear. Um, so I think a lot of, during the 80s were, was a lot of like movies sort of like about sort of AIDS and um, I'm not sure when Philadelphia came, I think that was in the 90s as well, but you had movies like Philadelphia, you had movies like The Cure which Philadelphia, I don't think, would make a good reaction because, like, I've seen that movie multiple times, and it gets me every time. Tom Hanks, Denzel Washington are fucking kings in that movie. And so, I like, it's still, like, too fresh to me. The Cure, I haven't seen this movie since I think I first saw it back in, in, I believe, the 90s. Um, so it was still relatively fresh to me. There were like certain points that hit that I remembered, like the point with the shoe, the point where uh, Annabella Sciorra tells off Brad Renfro's mother. Those were the two like standout moments in my mind. Um, so yeah, I and so that was, I think, more of a, there was more of a, something for me to react to because it was more of it that I didn't remember. Um, but I was going to say, if you were a fan of GH, you remember the Robin and Stone story where Robin's boyfriend Stone gets AIDS and that whole journey and that whole storyline, which was one of the most powerful soap opera storylines of all time, of all time. And that happened in the 90s. Um, so yeah, you had things like the AIDS quilt um, and just in the 90s was more of a focus on combating 
the fear and the ignorance around the disease. So that's why we got like powerful, beautiful movies like Philadelphia, like The Cure, which I just, oh, and Brad Renfro, may he rest in peace, unfortunately, um, I think died in, I want to say, the teens, like the 2000, and, the 2000 teens, and I believe he has a son, he survived by, by a son, um, and we haven't, like, heard much about him, but he, his performance in this was just perfection. I mean, he was such a little shit, and because, he, you know, his, he wasn't, he didn't have a happy home life. He didn't, and he was most definitely changed, his character was most definitely changed by his friendship with this boy. And then there's this boy who has this wonderful home life. You know, his, his mother is this beautiful soul. And yet he has this horrible disease and, you know, he, he loses his life. So I, but it was like his mother said, Brad Renfro's character you know, helped, helped this little boy in the last moments of his life to have some happiness because he was so isolated because of the fear and ignorance around this disease that is, oh, their friendship was just beautiful. Their friendship was just beautiful. And yeah, so I'm, oh, yeah, I, like I said, I've seen Philadelphia a few times now, and I, that, you know, that's a beautiful movie, and I, I think, like, obviously this movie is going, this movie is going on my keeper shelf, most definitely, and I'm so glad that I was able to find it again. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able, when I'm going to be able to rewatch this one. Because, I don't know, maybe because it's children, it hit me harder. I mean, Philadelphia hit me hard. I mean, yo, I, every time I see that movie, I cry. But, maybe because this one just was just like a fresher experience in that I hadn't seen it in a while. So that's why it sort of hit me harder. But I don't know when I'm going to be able to rewatch this one. I really don't, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's going to be it. Oof, that's going to be it for this week's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed <laughs> watching me bawl my eyes out during this movie. Um, I would definitely recommend picking up this movie and adding it to your library, because it's such an important, important movie. I mean, yes, we've, you know, we've gotten to a point where we now know we, we have, there's less ignorance surrounding AIDS, but it's because movies like, of movies like this, it's because of movies like this and like Philadelphia and like soap opera uh, storylines like Robin and Stone's storyline, um, that we've reached that point where there's, there's not as much ignorance around, um, this disease. And, um, thankfully, like, we've, we've, we've hit that point, but it, it's an important movie, and I would definitely keep, get it for um, my keeper shelf, if I, if I were you, and um, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this week's video. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to see more movie reactions, uh, definitely like support me on 
Patreon if you'd like to recommend for a movie for me to watch. That's going to be one of the the tiers on on Patreon that uh, if, if you um, support me there, then you get to um, recommend a movie for me to watch. And if it's one that I haven't seen before, definitely recommend it. If it want, if it's one that I have seen before, again, you can recommend another movie for me, or if enough time has passed that I don't remember a lot of it like this one, then yes, I will uh, react to it. Um, yeah, so, you know, support me on Patreon. If you would rather just watch it on uh, YouTube, by all means, follow me on my uh, YouTube uh, reaction channel. Uh, Subscribe to my regular YouTube channel at youtube.com slash author ejamie and you will get the YouTube link to where you can watch it. Um, so make sure that you're subscribed to me on my regular channel. Uh, I'd love for you to subscribe on my YouTube reaction channel because then you can you can get those numbers up and eventually it can get its own URL where I can recommend uh, the link to the how you can watch on my regular channel, on my uh, YouTube reaction channel. Uh, but yes, yeah, subscribe to my regular YouTube channel so you can get the video link to where you can watch it on YouTube. It'll be the heavily edited version. Again, Patreon is fully unedited. The whole movie you'll be able to watch along with me. Watch me sob my eyes out. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash author ejamie. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash author ejamie, and I will talk to you guys next time. <sighs> I knew the shoe was going to get me, y'all. I knew the shoe was going to get me. Bye.